Okay, I have something to actually confess. I love the Batman Arkham Knights Batmobile. And I know, I don't know, I know a lot of people are going to hate me. But dude, I love the tank mode. I really like the tank mode. It's actually growing on me over the years. It's like surprising. Maybe I'm playing it a little bit too much because I just roam around the streets just fucking zapping everybody and having a little bit too much fun with the Batmobile. But like, I don't know. It's just like, it feels so good when you're actually in it and especially with the apc missions when you're chasing around these apcs and you know you have to fin them off with the the other military cars following you and trying to shoot rockets at you you know it's very very fun it's very high pace and it's, it's just so exciting it's exactly what you wanted from the batmobile and i know that the tank missions are very very abundant i think the worst part about the batmobile is maybe the stealth missions with the tank like it's like why are we sneaking around with a fucking death machine? This just does not make sense. It was a little bit too much. That one I would agree on is something that could have been cut. And, you know, maybe a few other things like some boss battles that were in tanks should have been cut as well. I'm not saying that the Batmobile is perfect, but I think that the more you play it and the more you kind of understand the mechanics of what they were going for, for at least the long term goal, it actually does play very, very well. I mean, I just say go ahead and play all the, the little side challenges that they have in the AR challenges. It's like they're very, very fun to do. And they're, you know, they gain you a little bit of skill. So when you go out and you're playing the main mission, it's just absolutely fun just being the best and just blowing these fucking tanks and circling them and just doing crazy shit. Like, it's very fun. And I know that a lot of people might not necessarily agree with this, right? A lot of people might say that it is repetitive, it is very boring, and it doesn't fit Batman. But I think it does fit this Batman, and, and it really does fit what he's going through, considering that, you know, Joker's kind of been on his mind for a while before this game even started. So, you know, it's something that he's actually been kind of slowly been manipulated by like a devil on his shoulder because Joker's still kind of in his ear. At least as much as I hate that plot line of Joker, you know, blood still kind of affecting Batman doesn't really necessarily make sense. You know, he's, if his blood is still in the system, he should be dying from the Titan. But overall, you know, Batman is still being kind of taunted and haunted by uh, the Joker and he's being manipulated to put all these guns and shit and it's actually explained within of course the VR game it's explained I believe in some prequel comics and you know overall it's shown that Batman is just being you know manipulated to put death fucking shit on the actual Batmobile like a bunch of missiles and a bunch of like cannons and like, riot suppressors and whatnot and you know it's it's crazy but it makes a lot of sense for this Batman, especially what's going, what he's going through right now. And I guess he was technically very prepared because he was ready for all of this Arkham Knight bullshit. And, you know, if you look at it in that lens, it is this Batman. If you consider the Arkham Batmans the definitive Batman besides, like, maybe the animated series and the comics, then, you know, he would just be, he's really the Batman. He would, this, this is something that he would do in a moment where he is being controlled or at least manipulated by somebody that is still dead and haunting him. So I, I really like what they did there, and I, I genuinely understand now more why, you know, the tank is why what it is. It, it's because of the Joker. And overall, I, I really, I, as much as people might not like that plot line either, it's like, well, that's what it is. And, and even if I think that Paul Dini could have wrote something a lot better, um, it's what we got, and I enjoy what we got. And I really love what they did with the Batmobile, no matter how much... Uh, people may disagree with me. I, I, I just replay it now, and it's like every mission's actually kind of enjoyable. There are some still missions, like, of course, the, the stealth ones and some of the boss battles, like the Arkham Knight one and the Deathstroke one. But besides those ones, I genuinely think overall the Batmobile is very fun to use. And, yeah, that's my opinion. And I f fucking finally grew into this game after months. I still hate the fucking DLC, and I will never, ever think that the DLC is forgivable, but there are some key elements in this game that I believe are forgivable uh, over time when you really look at them. And although they may not be the best Batman choices in a story, they are very unique and interesting Batman choices. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more videos in the future. I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace out.